All right, welcome back to another episode of our Guild Wars 1 playthrough in Factions, and we are at the final mission of the Factions campaign. Uh, I have not attempted it yet. It's been a long time since I've done this mission, but I do know that there is a trick to beating it. Uh, we have to fight Shiro, that's it. So it's one of the shortest missions in the whole game. Probably this one uh and the uh what was the ascension mission the augury rock in prophecies probably one of the two uh shortest missions is this and that one and i came up with this build really quick i don't know if it's gonna work uh he is a warrior and he's got some tricks up his sleeves honestly this will probably m fail miserably if it does I'll have to figure something else out, uh, but let's try it out. The trick I know is you have to interrupt his really super damaging skills, and you also want to do tons of damage right away. So in order to do that, we're going to bring a lot of firepower. I don't know if I want the spirit or the healer. Um, what does Sheena have? Let me pull up the let me pull up the henchman really quick. Okay, so here we have, let me pull it up. Okay, so here we have the window. Um, what would be good? Where's the last mission? Here we go. Um, the Lucas is the guardian henchman, right? He has quivering blade. He's got some armor, some locking he uses this signet of swords which is does tons of damage we could go multiple we could go multiple fighters actually go double fighter um i think i want the celestial storm because that does loads of damage but i think there's only one elementalist henchman what else do we want? Oh, ooh, the Ranger Celestial Stance. That's pretty good for defense. What is the... Celestial Summoning Archimorris and St. Victor are summoned from the Spirit Realm. That's cool. I didn't know the Ritualist gets that. What about Sheena and Brutus? So they got hexes. Hexes generally don't do great on bosses. Yeah. And that celestial skill is not even that wonderful. Let's go. Let's go healer. That should be enough. Alright, let's try it out. Oh, I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> I have faith. I have faith in myself that this is not going to work. All right, let's try it out. Take one of the Shiro mission. We'll watch the cinematic uh, if there is one. The first time, we'll be skipping it after that. So I can talk to Kunavong. Yes, please. I will get rid of... Energy tap might be useful. Sympathetic Visage might be useful, too. Let's get rid of Wastrel's Worry, I guess. Alright. And I'm gonna put... I'm gonna do the same trick I did before, where I'm gonna Arcane Echo Celestial Haste. Alright, and Brother Minlo comes with us, so that's extra healing. 
really cool mission level design for a final battle. I grossly underestimated her power. Yeah, you did. Yeah, Minlo. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think this is not going to work, though. Uh, I don't even know how well this conditions. I'm going domination and illusion max out. I'm not bringing hardly any inspiration just for that. They let me put a couple into there. There we go. I don't know about this. I'm going to try a technique that used to work. I don't know if it still does. I'm going to body. I'm going to like rush him with all of my henchmen in AOE or a point blank range to get the benefit from that fighter's celestial skill. There you go. Oh, I forgot to use arcane echo correctly. Oh my gosh. I'm totally screwing this up. This is not good. Put the version on him. Yeah, I don't know about this. He's not attacking us though. Yeah, I don't even have enough energy to use Arcane Echo. Yeah, this is a fail. This is a big ol' fail. I mean, I do quite a bit of damage. I don't know how this is going, honestly. I'm just gonna keep spamming ineptitude while I got it. So we need to we need to attack his summons to bring back our henchman that just got banished. Oh, we get we do get the celestial skills back. Oh, we died. I don't know how we died. Okay, that was a fail. Let me do some more res. All right, take two. Uh, I'm filling out my the rest of my skill bar here. I need more energy management. I think. I just don't. Really no. Um Yeah, what I should do. I need something that like this interrupts an action that will work. It doesn't give me energy, but it's free at least. I need to interrupt him. And so I'm bringing some interrupts. I don't know if diversion works for him actually. I'm not going to mess with that. I'll try Wastrel's worry. He doesn't really spam skills, does he? Bring Chaos Storm for the extra damage. So he's using skills that crazy. He's using stances. He's using skills that are not spells, I don't think. Yeah, all of them are skills. So I Yeah, several different stances. And then he's got natural resistance on top of that. But actually, Wastrel's Worry will be good. Let me spam Wastrel's Worry. That might do some good damage. Um, Yeah, that might be better than Chaos Storm, actually. Let's run something like this. 
So I need to keep him hexed. I need to try and interrupt him. And then energy surge does some damage because I need an elite skill, I think. Maybe mantra of... Actually, maybe mantra of recall would be decent. Or... <laughs> mantra of recovery. That's a good one. So I can just spam up these hexes because he's got natural resistance. That's what I'll do. Okay, let's try it. The uh, Celestial skill recharges, so I don't really need Arcane Echo like I thought. I'm not going to do the rush him with all my uh, henchmen into point blank range like I did either. Okay, we've been through this, we've been through this, we've been through this. Empathy, Insidious Parasite, look for some interrupts. And then... Um, bam, Wastel's Worry for some damage. If, I, if I'm correct, Wastel's Worry should be really easy to proc because of his um, natural resistance. Yep, missed one. Yeah, it does. There we go. That up. I don't really quite have enough energy. Yeah, I should just spam Wachel's Worry. Yeah, that's uninterruptible battle scars, isn't it? Much better than last time. I don't think I'm going to succeed, but it is better. Good old Wachel's Worry. That worked really well in Prophecies, and it's working well here, too. Oh, he heals so fast. I actually don't need Mantra of Recovery. I just need Wachel's Worry. Empathy. Oh my gosh. He's teleporting now. This is so bad. Oh, what do we do? I've got my hand over the interrupt skill, hoping to get it off, but knockdowns are nice. Yeah, last 14 seconds with his degener or with his uh hex removal i think it's not great and he's got these guys up here holy cow okay this isn't gonna work all right take three <laughs> Uh, I decided not to bring any dedicated healer. I'm just gonna go full on damage and I'm I forgot I had energy drain I'm gonna use that to just keep my energy up and Try and spam Wachel's Rory and empathy. I Don't think I can feasibly keep empathy and insidious up insidious is just such an expensive skill uh, I don't know how many times I can do this Blah, blah, blah. So I definitely got closer last time. I The problem is I don't have anything to be able to stop, interrupt him for one. 
And I don't have any ability to remove his stance once he has it on uh, really bad. Keep spamming everything I have. I didn't mean to use that already. See that did when he does reposting shadow, when I have empathy on him, it does loads of damage. Just keep empathy up at all times. Spam all of my skills. Yeah, I have no problem with energy this time. I brought a natural signet just for some free damage. And as far as I know, he doesn't use any energy. Alright, yep. That just devastated us. We lost our guardian. We lost our spirit henchman. Man. Yeah, I don't know, man. That was not horrible. Okay, we're going to try this mission again. I got the help of a fellow player, Guild Wars 1 veteran, Earthbent. We'll see how it goes. He said he's going to run a, 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 a Shiro Killer build, so whatever that means. And I'm going to trust him or her. Just judging from the staff he's using and the armor, I think we're going to pull this off. All these texts out of the way. I need a clear screen in order to fight this guy. So the uh, order of my build is just to keep all my stamina up and Wastrel's worry. He's got natural resistance, so kind of like how on Prophecies, I spammed Wastrel's Worry to do loads of damage. It, it pretty much works against him here, because after one second, after one second, it um, usually procs that damage. And then Unnatural Signet just does some free damage on him. Get this out of here. So you can see... 100 damage. Keeping empathy up. Energy drain almost fills my whole skill bar up. Great. I don't know if this is going to work. Hammer is going crazy. Got a nice chaos storm on him. Oh, I think we're gonna get it. Wow. Nice job. Okay. Once again, Shiro is defeated. Oh, they turned him into a statue. They Han Soloed him. Is his statue still around, like in Guild Wars 2 or anything? That'd be cool. I demand that you release me. <laughs> Of course I am. 
You have no power over me. You are wrong, Shiro. <laughs> no, no, this cannot be. You Are we like really able to see this happening? No. <laughs> Are we just standing around? The mortal and the underworld. You are our charm now. We preserve the spiritual purity of the underworld for you. A place you will never escape from. Where's he going? Actually, I think he's right. This is not your end. Bah, you will wish it was. Dang. Oh, thank you for your help in capturing Shiro. We will be watching over you, waiting for the day when you will join us. What are you going to do to Shiro? <laughs> Let us worry about Shiro. Very nice. One minute, 57 seconds. That was impossible to do alone with Henchman. Uh, I just don't know what build could have worked to where I could uh, do that alone. Crazy. Thank you so much. All right, and so we're at the end here. You can do a quick bow. I can talk to soon. Uh, you've been playing a game of greater stakes than you could have imagined. Some days we send a true magnitude, blah, blah, blah. Take any. Okay, we get this amulet. Where's the amulet? Wunifong, does he give us the amulet? No? Oh, we just got it. Okay. So I can get a weapon here. Um, I could get a new domination. One. That way we can use both. You only have this chance to get something, or if you want to come back here, have to do the mission again. Yeah, that's the problem. If I don't, the only way to come back here is to finish the mission again. So that was really hard. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Got it. I kind of... I might hang on to it, actually. Because I just don't know what I want. And this Draconic Scythe, I always love the skin of that. I'm always tempted to buy it, even though I'm not a dervish. <laughs> so I might hang on to this for now. Do you get a second amulet if you beat it a hard mode? Well, that's this guy. Yeah, I mean, the other way to use this amulet is to get items for the heroes. So we'll see. All right, so that's the end of factions. I think I am going to hang on to this amulet. Uh, I'm pretty sure once I get heroes, it'll be possible to go to do this again. I'm just not sure exactly what I want to get right now. Um, actually, let me check the stat. I didn't look at the staffs. 
I kind of like this gemstone staff that I'm using, honestly. Let me double check here. I want to save the amulet and you need help again to wipe Shiro anytime, bro. I was just thinking about saving it. Yeah. Oh, there is no staff. I see. Only wands or focuses. Yeah, I just don't... I don't see much reason of getting rid of this staff. It's almost perfect. I just need a... I just need a, um, a better health thing on it. I mean, it would be nice to get a wand to use with my shield. But anyway, if I go over here, I can get some new armor. Of course, I cannot afford it. But it looks cool. The Canthan armor. It should make a bigger image so I can, like, properly see it. Uh, I could also get these weapons. These are plus five energy weapons, which are really rare items in the game. Martial weapons in the game. Um, I guess you could put an inscription on it. I'm not sure if you can do that with faction weapons. They're really expensive. Um, and then, of course, if I want to hang out here and talk to some NPCs, I can see what happened with the Xingjie Monastery people oh they're talking to me they came from Xingjie to honor me yeah even Talonwing Talon Silverwing rather the Tengu I feel like they could make a separate game with just Talon he's such a cool character like they I feel like they missed an opportunity to have the Tengu in Guild Wars 2 or something. They could have a whole new a whole new um, storyline with this. They're really awesome. Kurzix. It's such a cool way to have an ending of the game. <laughs> and then the Luxons. Ooh, the Kurzix come first. Interesting. Argo. You're supposed to kind of take your time through here. And finally, what's left? Oh, come this way. This place is huge. Is this the same area as the Raisu Palace mission? It looks very different. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we fought down there, didn't we? Oh, there's another phoenix over here. So you can tame multiple phoenixes if you have multiple people, I guess. Did not know that. Should have brought Ranger. And then I could have tamed it, but anyway. Panthens are last. And Nika. Let's see what Nika has to say. She's the descendant of the original Shiro killer. Could have used her health. Would have been nice to have her. Wow, this just keeps going. On third Phoenix. Okay. Well, there's plenty of Phoenixes here. You run this with multiple people, you don't have to run it over and over to capture the Phoenix. You can just... Oh, there's tons of Phoenixes. Look at all those. The Emperor is all the way up there. I don't know if we can get to him. Oh, never mind. He's over here. What do you have to say? Anthem mourns the loss of a great man. Togo, right? He's not talking about Shiro, is he? Yeah, okay. Greatest accomplishment stands embodied before us. 
Oh, is he talking about us? Yeah. I guess we were his students. I feel like he says that to everyone, but it more applies to uh, factions characters, huh? Emperor's robe is really cool looking. Yeah, brief piece. They have Cantha. Yeah, I know. Let's just explore a little bit. Oh, that goes back. Dang. Well, that's one way to exit. All right, that is the end of factions. We are back in Canning City. I guess we end up over here. Oh. All right. Thank you for watching. Um, next up, I'm probably gonna go over to uh, Xinjie Island and do some of the events over there. As long as I haven't missed it. Hopefully, I'm a little late to the festival. Hopefully, I haven't missed everything. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. This is, is the conclusion of the Factions playthrough, but I probably will go back and do the Kurzik mission. And then, like I said, I need to go back and do the Xinjie Island mission. So not quite done with the playthrough yet. But anyway, thanks everyone for watching this far. This is kind of the end of a second milestone. Uh, after completing Prophecies, that was a big a big event and then now the end of factions uh so anyway have a good one everyone peace